Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 13. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. And next up, what we're going to do is the Yamaha TZ125. Uh, this is a very streamlined looking bike, which is interesting. Uh, how many bikes have we got left? 8, 12, 15. So we've done 10 so far. Great. we got loads more to do. Um, and, oh, I quite like that grey. You know what? I'm taking that grey for this one. Three laps around the Sakuba circuit. Let's go. Right, here we go. Sakuba in this... Quite streamlined, but very lightweight looking bike. It's a very tiny thing. And very wobbly as well. There's not a lot of control in the bike. The other bike also went off the track again, which seems to be a common occurrence with uh, the AI around Sakuba. They go off the track quite often. Right, we've gotten a decent start. Two seconds behind. Awesome. And off we go. Nice, nice, nice. That was a good exit around that corner. Minus one second now. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, nearly lost it. We lost all that time that we had just gained then. All of it gone. going to get to this next checkpoint and it's going to be minus two again. Yep. We got a brilliant exit out of that corner though. Let's rely on the final lap then to get us that position back. Let's go around the inside while they've gone wide. This is good, this is good, this is looking good. They've gone wide, they've gone wide. We can take our position. And there we go, we win. 2 minutes 45.257, that was, could have been much, much shorter because we nearly crashed twice in that run. Could have been much, much shorter, much, much better. But it was all right for a start. It was an all right start. And here we go, the Yamaha TZ125 from 2003 is now ours. And we can actually put a number on this, which is decent. So we're gonna put our number. Number 69. And there we go. I still don't actually have a racing number, so... I'm going to think of one. I think maybe 47 might be a good one for me. But um, next up is the Yamaha RZV500R from 1984. Very nice. Let's go. Right, here we go. This is the entire of... I think this is Grand Valley Speedway, if I'm correct. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, nearly lost it there. This is the entire track, though, the full one. So this will probably take us at least a lap, about two minutes, to overtake the bike ahead. 
problem is this bike doesn't have a very good turning circle. Its corner inability is, quite frankly, diabolical. Negative nine, we're nine seconds behind. Come on, we got this. Nice. All right, we got the main straight now. Are we gonna get a time in over here somewhere? Oh, that was a rubbish corner. I would like to see another time in, maybe. See how far behind I am. I think we get one up here somewhere. There we go, minus six. Okay, we've gone wide there, around the white line, but because we're not on dirt, we're still on tarmac, it doesn't count as going off track. Which is a bit weird, because it should count as going off track outside track limits, but I don't know. Right, we are at two minutes now, and what looks like we have barely caught up. Actually, we've caught up quite a bit. i got to give myself props for that. Hopefully, by the hairpin on this final lap, we will catch up. Minus two, so we gained four seconds in that last section. Awesome. On the tarmac a bit to get ourselves around that corner much better. Try and get around here. I know that bike behind actually is a lot lighter than our bike, so... Technically, it can corner so much better. But there we go. We got ourselves the win with 2 minutes 52.449 on the clock. Awesome. And there we go. We now own a Yamaha RZB 500R from 1984. I think these are some of the oldest bikes in the game. Um, I'm not sure if there's any older ones. There may be. It would be pretty cool to see some. But next up is the Yamaha XJR1300. Uh, and this is from 2005. Um, oh, I quite like that white line. So I'm going to take that one. And this is round the dreaded circuit of this game. The Laguna Seca. Best track for racing cars. Worst track for bikes. Let's go. Now I am expecting this to take six or seven attempts like the last times. But based on the fact that I've done this so many times. I would like to see... It being done maybe first time. Because uh, if we can get it done first time, that would be awesome. There we go. Nice. Remember, it's three laps. This is actually quite surprising because it's got a fat tire at the back. But from the front, it doesn't look very super bikey. Obviously, this is coming from a car person. So, I'm not really into my bikes as much as cars. Obviously, I like bikes. Cool. But they're like, cool. Not something that I follow every day. So if I say really weird references, it's because I'm a car person. So bear with me. But as a car person, I can still appreciate the excitement of riding a bike. I can imagine it would be a really fun experience. And I want to give it a try one day. But I know I'd probably get killed if I was caught riding a bike because of how dangerous it is. Awesome. We've done so well so far. But now that I've said that, I've probably jinxed myself. Okay, decent. Hey, we didn't mess up this final corner. We're doing all right. Okay, we did lose some time in that final corner because I was being cautious. 
for minus three seconds. That was a good corner there. Onto the curb a little bit. Just enough to say, look at me, I'm quick. Awesome. Nearly went off the track there, just to the side. Come on, we can do this before the corkscrew. I do not want to go down the corkscrew in this. There we go, nice. We've done it. First try around Laguna Seca. Wow. 2 minutes 43.715. I'm impressed with myself for that. First attempt. G. G. And there we go. That is a bike well deserved for completing it first try. Awesome. That was really good. That was really, really good. We got that. Okay. How many bikes have we got left then? I think it's like 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yeah. Okay. Next up is the Yamaha VMAX 2005, and it's in a deep red metallic. Ooh, nice. And we're around Tokyo R246. This can be a nightmare, but hopefully it should be okay with, these, with this bike. It's time for VMAX with the Yamaha VMAX. Let's see if we can hit our VMAX. Oh. The turning circle is horrendous. Not a very easy bike to turn, let's put it that way. Awesome. Come on, let's get around this corner. We're actually catching up with the other bike pretty quickly, surprisingly. I can see him just in front. <laughs> Jesus, sorry. <laughs> that was building up for ages. I wouldn't have been able to mute my mic either. So uh, that's just stuck in the recording for now. Let's get around here. I have a feeling they've got a more maneuverable bike. Awesome, come on. Get them on the inside here. We came out with a much better line. And there we go, we win. Managed to get the victory in Route 246 Tokyo with a 1 minute 33.080. Very nice. And here we go, the Yamaha VMAX is now, well, we are now the proud owner of a Yamaha VMAX, even though it wasn't, didn't really do very well as a bike. It'd probably be a good tank, but a bike, not so sure. Don't think you should put that on the CV. <laughs> but next up is the Yamaha MT-01 from 2005. And look at that exhaust. I'm pretty sure that's an exhaust. And it looks insane. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the silver. Yeah, let's go for that. Right, we are back at Route 246, Tokyo. Here we go. Slow down for this corner. Those twin exhausts out of the rear in that raised position look so cool. Turning circle is a little bit better than the last bike, but uh, still not great. You can see there, the red line is most of the dial for this bike. It doesn't have much rev range. It's almost like a car engine.
Let's see if we can do the same move on this bike as we did the last bike at those uh, at the final section before the um, underpass. Because that was a really good line we took through that corner that easily gained us a second over him. Easily. Okay, we couldn't quite get the line this time because we didn't catch up enough. But I feel like at the hairpin corner we could gain so much time. Awesome. We've got a very good exit there and we are catching up. We are in the same bike. Careful, don't throw me off course. Just because I'm overtaking you, mate. The toxicity in the game. Two minutes, 9.823. Very nice. And here we go, the Yamaha MT-01 from 2005 is now ours. That is an insane looking bike. The amount of heat that must come out of those exhaust pipes is crazy. But there we go. We have the MT-01. It's a very nice bike. I am glad. Right, next up is the Yamaha FJ-1300 from 2005. And we're going to take that in silver. And we're going around the Grand Valley Speedway, the full circuit. Let's go. Right, here we go. Around the Grand Valley Speedway with this Yamaha bike. I mean, they're all Yamaha bikes in this episode. And probably next episode, if my plan works out. Awesome. Nice. Perfect, that was good. That was a nice corner, well done. Come on, are we gonna get this? going well this is going well awesome can we get them before the end of the lap that would be decent oh, it's so slow through these s bends but there's no other way of going quicker you can't go quicker Right, we might catch him on the next set of S pens. It's going to require a sharp breaking on this one with some very slow breaking on the next one. Let's go on the inside, get that overtake. Look at that exit. And we're going to take another win, another free bike. Perfect. 2 minutes 7.392. Very good. G, G, my G. Tell me to never say that again. And there we go. Another bike down. Nine more bikes left to get. Let's have a look. Look at that. That looks good. I think we're starting with racing modifiers in a minute. I don't know how long it's going to be before we get the racing modifiers, but we should get some soon. What's the next one? Okay, so racing modifiers are all starting in the, probably in the next episode, I think. But uh, first of all, we go into the Yamaha TDM 905. 
Let's go. Ooh. I like that in black. That's very nice. Let's go with it. Right, here we go. Back at Grand Valley. Back here again. For another, another challenge. Awesome. That was a good line there. Keep as much speed, spit, speed. Keep as much speed through that corner. It's when you start thinking about the next word while you're saying one word that you just end up jumbling them together and creating a new English language. Surprisingly, we're actually really close to the other bike. We've caught up really quickly. Every time you go over that bump, you just hear like that metallic rattle. Can I hear the rattle again? Yes. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I definitely can. Okay, there's a bike ahead of us. Let's go. We're gunning for them. Yes, the rattle of the exhaust. What a lovely sound. Right, let's see if we can do the overtake like we did last time. Rattle the exhaust. Get around this corner here. Perfect. And there we go, across the line. 158.869. Very good time there. GG. I'll take it. Bum, bum, bum. Nice. And here we go. We now have the TDM 900 by Yamaha. Very nice bike there. We're on to the final street race bike, street spec bike, before we go on to the racing modifiers. And this is going to be the Yamaha YZF R1 from 2005. This bike looks insane. 169 brake horsepower, 12,500 RPM. Impressive. And we can even take it in a blue or a black with red rims. I'm going to have to go for that. Deep Forest Raceway, here we come. Right, here we go. Deep Forest Raceway. Are we going to get airtime, actually? Uh, we got a little bit of airtime there. Very nice. Oh, keep it calm. Keep it steady. Calm and steady is like my motto when it comes to racing games. It's just like, keep it calm, keep it steady. You'll get around the track. As long as you're calm with racing games and you don't get too stressed out, you have you can have a lot of fun. I know there are people that play like Forza Horizon, which is like some of the easiest games out there and get stressed out. And I'm not saying you can't get stressed out and you can't struggle with those games because some people just can't do racing games. But as long as you stay calm, you should still be able to enjoy the game. That's why Gran Turismo 4, a game that I am struggling with to do, like, personally playing through it without recording it, I'm struggling big time to play that because it's so difficult. It's so much more difficult. But as long as you stay calm, you can enjoy it. Obviously, there are moments that you can, like, rage because games are, like, crazy. But as long as you're raging and you're raging for just a minute and then comes back down again, should be okay. Like now, I'm probably going to rage if I go over this jump and fall off. Nearly fell off. We lost our position, but we've got it back. And there we go. 1 minute 47.439. There we go. That is the final of the street bikes dealt with. Done. Dusted. Can move on now. And here we go. 
the Yamaha YZF R1 from 2005 is now ours in black metallic. Very nice. It's a very good bike, and we have seven more bikes left to go. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.